Hello beautiful humans, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessa Stewart. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back sis. <laughs> so in today's video, I will be going over my current favorite fragrances for you girls, as well as some of the current combinations that I'm doing. I also want to discuss just a few tips and tricks just for layering and longevity for some of those fragrances that don't last as long as you would like. If you're unaware, I love fragrances. I always have a signature scent on hand so I just wanted to share those thoughts with you just in case you're looking to purchase some new scents or if you just wanted like a good review on one of these okay so before we move any further I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video they're currently running a Valentine's Day sale where you get buy one get 40% off and they sent me over three pieces so I'm just gonna go over the pieces that I chose and what I like about each one so the very first piece that I chose is this bracelet called Aura. I I really like this. I'm not a bracelet girl. I'm, I'm really not heavy on jewelry because of the environment that I work in. So I work in a very conservative office setting. So I can't wear too much jewelry. It's off-putting. So this is a great statement though. It's just big enough. Like it's not too small that it gets lost, but it's big enough that you notice it. It makes a statement. I like how it shines and it's nice and lightweight and it doesn't irritate my arm. I actually forget that I have it on. I've even showered in it and it still looks great. The second piece that I got is the Molly earring. I love this. I think it's so cute, it's so dainty, it's so sophisticated. It's very appropriate for work. It dresses up an outfit, but it's very kind of understated at the same time. So this could definitely go office uh, professional, business casual, or even dress down. Like I could definitely wear this with like a white tee, some ripped up jeans and some sneakers, and it will look just as cute, like a nice little bag. This is very cute. I love these. They're very lightweight and you can forget that they're in your, <laughs> that they're in your ear and they're not irritating whatsoever. Then the last piece I got are these earrings in the style Eden. You've seen these in a previous video of mine. May not they weren't zoomed all the way in so you probably couldn't tell, but these are beautiful on. So stunning. I love these for transitioning so like you can wear these to work, you can look super put together, and then you can definitely leave the office and go to a happy hour, take off the, the, the blazer, maybe have a nice blouse on, and it looks so cute, and you still look like very put together and done up, and it's not too overpowering. I don't like big jewelry. I'm, I'm more of a delicate person, and all of the pieces that I've seen on their website, a little bit more unique. They change their styles on a regular basis, which I appreciate as well. All right, so these are all the pieces that I received from Ana Luisa. They're all sustainable and hypoallergenic, so I love that. I have been thoroughly enjoying them. I've been wearing them on a regular basis. So if you're interested in any of the pieces that I chose and picked out, or if you wanna see some of the other designs that they have to offer, there will be a link in the description box below. Like I said, they are offering a sale right now for Valentine's Day for buy one get one 40% off okay so without any further ado let's get right into the video hey. all right sis so <laughs> I have a large fragrance collection it would take too long for me to go through all of that because a lot of them I don't even wear anymore I like I, I've gotten bored of them so I'm just gonna go over the main ones that I'm using right now that I'm trying to get through and I'm even gonna tell you at the end some that are on my wish list for next all right so before we start girl I'm just gonna let you know there's gonna be a recurring theme of some of the um, the notes with a lot of these fragrances because there are specific notes that I just really really love amber being one of them <laughs> and this is an amber floral okay it's a little bit on the sweet side but I love it so I'm gonna start with one that you're very familiar with on my channel and that is gonna be the Valentino Donna born in Roma now we know I love this I love this scent the top notes are black currant pink peppercorn and bergamot middle notes are jasmine sandbok jasmine and jasmine tea and the base notes are bourbon vanilla Cashmoran and Gaic Wood. I love this scent. It's sweet, but it's not overpoweringly sweet. I'm not a biggest fan, the biggest fan of sweet scents. Like if it's if it smells like candy, I don't like it. Okay. 
but this doesn't give me that. It's a classy scent. I love to wear this anytime. I'll wear this out, I'll wear this to work. If you're gonna wear this to work, you don't wanna overspray it because it can get a little bit strong, especially if you work in an office where like you close your door. You know, you don't want people to be bombarded with those scents. But I really enjoy this. On the sweeter side, but not candy sweet, which is what I love. Slightly powdery. Next, we will be moving on to Perfect by Marc Jacobs. So this particular scent, I did not purchase for myself. This was a gift. My husband bought this for me. This is another amber floral. As we all know, it's just what I love. And then my husband knows me so well, <laughs> he picked out a good one. So this has base notes again, cashmeran and cedar. Middle note is almond milk, top notes rhubarb and narcissus. I'm not sure how to uh, pronounce that. It's floral, it's delicate, it's, mm, it's a little sweet. It's more floral than it is sweet. Very delicate, very light, slightly fresh. More floral than fresh. But this is very appropriate for an office setting. So oh, I don't know if you can tell when my husband got my name engraved on the back. <laughs> but. This is good for an office setting. You can overspray this and it won't be too overpowering. The way it dries down is a little bit more light and it also layers well, though I don't layer it much. All right, so next I'm gonna go over my signature scent. This is my absolute, absolute, absolute favorite fragrance ever of all time. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, okay? I've been wearing this fragrance for over 10 years, okay? I've been wearing this fragrance, how long have I been married? almost 12 years, a little under 12 years, okay? It'll be 12 years this year that I've been wearing this fragrance, and that would be Chanel Chance Eau Tundra. There's a lot of different vari variations to Chanel Chance. The only one that I like on me is the Chanel Chance Eau Tundra, okay? My best friend had the original Chanel Chance all throughout college. I loved it on her. When I tried it, it smelled musty. This came out I smelled it and it was immediate, oh, it was immediate love. I fell in love, love at first smell, love at first sight, whatever you wanna call it, and I cannot get enough. This is my most complimented fragrance. This is my signature fragrance. This and Chloe, the, the Chloe that came out in 2010, were the signature fragrances for my wedding day and my honeymoon, okay, and I, Loved it, I've been wearing it ever since. This is one of the few fragrances that I will get the large in. I'm generally, I generally get smaller bottles because I get over fragrances fast. And I have had, <laughs> when I used to buy large bottles, I had a fragrance that actually expired on me, girl, and it is not fun when it actually happens. So the base of this one is White Musk, the heart is Rose Jasmine Absolute, and the top notes are Grapefruit and Kinks. So I love grapefruit scents, like light blue, I love that scent. I love fresher scents. Fresh florals, amber florals are kind of my vibe, right? So this is my favorite one. I No matter how many times I've worn this, I get complimented. I get complimented from strangers. It does dry down differently on everyone. A friend of mine has purchased this. She bought it. When I smelled it on her, I asked her what it was. <laughs> what it was. I didn't even know it was the same thing. That's one thing I will say, your body chemistry makes a difference. If you like fresh scents, you like grapefruit, you like jasmine, give this a try. Highly recommend, highly recommend. So next I'm gonna be moving on to another one of my faves, okay? And that is going to be Mason Francis Curtijan, and this is the Gentle Fluidity Gold. I love this, I love this. Mmm, amber, obviously, amber is one of the notes. So this is another one of my more, more complimented fragrances. I bought this over the summer and last summer and I instantly fell in love. And then I only because of the price, I reserve this for like special occasions, like going out. I've wanted it to work maybe twice, but generally I don't. <laughs> I wear this out. It's soft, it's delicate, it's a little powdery. You can smell the amber, you can smell a little vanilla, but it's like, you really have to sniff for the vanilla. Like the dry down on it is kind of powdery, slightly sweet, but more so on the amber side. And I love it. It's very delicate, very classy, mature, smells rich. If that makes if that makes any sense. If you want to make this last throughout the day, if this doesn't last on you, 
There is a similar scent that is the Michael Kors Sexy Amber. I get the travel size of the Michael Kors Sexy Amber and I use this throughout the day to refresh when I have this. So I will spray this in the morning, right? Or if I'm going out and I wanna say like midway through the day, I don't smell it as much. I still smell it on my clothes, but it's not like mm, intoxicating smelling. And I will put a little bit of this on to like refresh it. it. It's almost like it reactivates the scent. Yes, you smell Michael Kors Sexy Amber, but the notes of the MSF of gentle fluidity still comes through. I, it's hard to describe. They mix very well together. If it mixes with your body chemistry and it doesn't it make you smell more mature than you are and you like gentle fluidity but the cost is a little too much, try Michael Kors Sexy Amber. I know it's an older scent but it was my signature scent from like 2015, 2014 and 2015 I think. Just, just try it. Okay, and you let me know what you think. Okay, so the next fragrance I'm gonna talk about is newer to my collection, but since I purchased it, girl, I cannot get enough. I've been wearing this <laughs> so much. And that is gonna be the Burberry Her London Dream. So there is Burberry Her. There's different variations to it. I have the London Dream. Ooh, I love this. This is a fruity floral, but it's not really that fruity. It's more floral than fruity. It's like lemon, rose, musk are like some of the key notes to this. This layers very well with like a really good um, fragrance oil. I'm gonna go over a couple of those, but this is beautiful. It's a beautiful soft scent. The thing is you can overspray it. It can be headache inducing. It can fill a room and maybe be bothersome to others. So you just wanna make sure that you don't overspray. You will be enticed to overspray because the longevity I find isn't there. It doesn't last as long as let's say my Chanel or my Valentino or definitely not as long as the um, MSF, Gentle Fluidity, but it does last. The projection is good. People do smell it when they're walking by. Just doesn't last as long. So you do need to layer this and I will give you some layering examples later, but I love this, very fresh. This is great for going out and I get heavily compliments. Since I've been wearing this, I've gotten compliments at the doctor's office. I got compliments from my husband, obviously, and then just people that I've encountered random places like the grocery store. So this is a very good one. Next, I'm gonna be moving on to a couple more fragrances. I think they may have been discontinued. I'm not sure, but it's what I'm currently using. And I know that you can find it in some stores still, but. If I can find a, a website, I will link it in the description box below. If not, I apologize in advance, sis. But this, the next two fragrances are both from Tory Burch. I will start with Newt Azor first. So this is the first one. <sighs> I love this. This is more of a, a winter scent, more evening scent. It's still fresh. I know that it has patchouli in it, but truly and I don't get along sometimes. It makes me smell older or musky. I don't, I don't know. There's something about me and patchouli. It depends on the fragrance, but this, the patchouli is not overpowering. It reminds me a little bit of like a more intense light blue, like light blue intense, more intense. If that makes any sense, I really, really enjoy this one. So like I said, this is more like wintertime, nighttime, fresh slightly floral. It's more fresh than floral, if you ask me. And then the next one by Tory Burch is the Bellazor. So this, to me, is a lighter version of this. So if there was a summertime version of the Newt Azor, it would be this. So this is a little bit more fresh, a little bit more light. You get a little bit more of the citrus coming through on this one. It's like a fresh spicy scent, if that makes sense. So I like this. If you like fresh scents, this is good. Now, if you cannot find either one of these, the current Tory Burch fragrance, I will flash it on the screen. I do like it. I did consider buying it. I just, I want to get through all of these first or some of these first before I start making more purchases. So I'm gonna go over my fragrance oils and then I'm gonna also explain how you layer the oils with the fragrances, okay? So first fragrance oil that I have, we're all familiar with, <laughs> is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I love to layer this and this layers well with quite a few different things. So it's a very fresh scent, so I like to layer it with fresh scents or with 
deeper sense that I'm trying to lighten up a little bit, if you get what I mean. So you wanna spray this first, spray this wherever you need, so you can spray it on your, your pulse points, your chest, wherever you want to put your fragrance. And then afterward, you would go in and spray your fragrance. The Tom Ford layers very well with the Burberry Her. This is a winning combination. It gives a more fresh scent, but there's a warmth that comes from this. It's like a fresh warmth. I, I, I'm, I'm not the best at describing this stuff, but these two complement each other very well. Another fragrance oil I have is the Madagascar Vanilla from Nest. Now this I just got. <laughs> I got this last month when I got the Burberry. Girl, I didn't even go in for this. I went into Sephora looking for this, right? So when I went in to get this, I saw this and I'm like, oh, that's cute. Let me just, you know, and I'm into fragrance oil. So I'm like, oh, let me give it a try. I smelled all, this is amazing. Also the orange, I can't remember, I'll flash the name. They have another one that it smells really good too that I think I'm gonna get next to layer with my more citrus and fresh clean scents that I think will be very good. But this is amazing. It's amazing, amazing on its own. It's sweet, it's vanilla. It's It has the sweetness of the vanilla, but it also has coconut in it. So the coconut kind of like deepens the smell and makes it a little bit more woody, but not overpoweringly wood woody. Like the vanilla still shines through. I love to take a drop of this, put this on my neck, put this on my wrists, and then you can spray the Burberry Her on it. Now that will bring out the sweetness of the, the Burberry Her. Or another winning combination is the Valentino Born in Roma. With this, girl, it just takes this up a notch and you're just like, intoxicated so I bought this and I did not tell my husband so I put this on first and then I put this on top of it unbeknownst to him and then I went around him and he had like put his head in my neck he was like damn you smell good like thank you <laughs> like he didn't even know that it was the same perfume but with a different body oil when I tell you it really just amps this up and oh I love these two together like I'm gonna buy this again so that I can just continue mixing it with that. <laughs> now, here's the deal. I do not like to mix many things with my gentle fluidity, right? But if you put this down first with the gentle fluidity, that they are, they're winners together. They're winners, they're winners. Try it, try it, and you tell me. It's, there's something about this that it's like, it's not too sweet. They got this right. They got this right. Some vanillas are way too sweet or way too synthetic smelling or you know what I mean? This has none of that. This is like beautiful. So next I'm just going to talk about a couple recommendations that I have. These are scents that I do not currently own, but I plan on getting or I had in the past. Okay. Number one is going to be Delina Exclusive by Parfums de Marley. This smells so beautiful and feminine and it just smells like feminine goodness like I love how it smells I have sprayed this on myself numerous times in Nemus numerous times in Nemus and walked around and I'm gonna get it I, I, I do enjoy it I, I think I'm gonna bite the bullet and get it as well as Miss Dior I love Miss Dior it's very powdery it's very it's kind of floral powdery it smells good. I'm talking about the original part perfume. I like that a lot, but they just came out. Now I had that before, but they just came out with a, an oil, a perfume oil for that. So I'm, I'm thinking about repurchasing that and getting the oil with it, or just getting the oil to go with like some other fragrances. I'm not sure yet, but that's another good one. And then Byredo. So Byredo has three fragrances that I really love. So I got a discovery set from them and I'm narrowing it down to which one I'm gonna buy like the full size of. So there is Ball de Afrique, that's my number one. There is Mojave Ghost and Gypsy Water. All three of them I really like. I think I'm leaning more towards Ball de Afrique. It's a little bit more fresh, it's a little bit more soapy smelling, I don't know. I It kind of smells a little more unisex to me, but I like it. I, I really do like it. So those are some good ideas. If you're interested in some other ones that I don't have listed here, those are the ones that's on my list to purchase 
next. <laughs> Here are some tips and tricks for Laram. I gave you some really good fragrances. Not all of them last throughout the day. So first and foremost, if you really love any of these scents, you want to pair it with either a matching lotion or you want to get like the travel size, which is what I tend to do. If you want to be smart about it, then you can buy atomizers. So I'm going to link the atomizers that I have in the description box below, but you can buy atomizers off of Amazon and then you can make your own travel size. I literally just decided I was gonna start doing this about a month ago, okay? And honestly, it saves you money. Besides saving money, it's also a space keeper so you don't have to be bringing your whole bottle. So that's tip number one, an atomizer for travel. So you can use that to refresh throughout the day if you feel like your scent has worn off and you can use that also for layering purposes as well. So if you have fragrances that don't, last long the best thing to do you can either one like i said layer it with a fragrance oil or two you can put it on top of vaseline or shea butter so what you would do is you take your your vaseline i've used shea butter that's why i'm ex expressing this to you so you take the vaseline you put it on your pulse points wherever you know wherever you want to spray you put the vaseline down first you rub it in same thing with shea butter and then you take your fragrance and you spray directly on top of that do not rub it in. Don't rub it, don't pat it. Then you let the fragrance absorb into that Vaseline as well as your skin and then melt into your skin. And the Vaseline, because I guess the oil in it, I'm not sure of the science, okay? All of this is an educated guess or kind of uneducated. I'm not educated in fragrances, but <laughs> all of this is a guess. But my assumption is that the oil in the fragrance attaches to the oil in the Vaseline, which then is absorbed by your skin and just has more staying powder. We all know that Vaseline is hard to get off. It's hard to wipe off. You really have to wash it off because of the oiliness. So I believe that that's what helps it just last a little bit longer and then project a little bit further. So if you wanna start like layering your scents and creating new scents for yourself, like let's say you've had these scents for a long time. You don't necessarily wanna go out and buy something new, but you just wanna jazz up what you have. You can layer your scents. Sometimes some very unexpected things will layer great together and sometimes they will not. Rule of thumb, what I like to do is whatever the base note is. So if I have two scents where the base note is vanilla, but they have other notes thrown in there, so they share a base note, so more than likely they will mix together well. When you're layering your scents, you're trying to create depth to the smell. So a lot of times when you smell something, you'll get like, there's the initial fragrance or scent that comes off. So maybe initially you'll only smell vanilla, but then as it like sits in the air and you really start to like breathe it in, then you'll get the smell of maybe some jasmine. Maybe you'll get the, the, the grapefruit or the whatever that, whatever other notes are in it, patchouli, whatever else it is. So that same thing works for layering. So you wanna start with things that have the base note. So that is how you come up with your own like fragrance combinations. And it really is trial and error. So certain things like both of them might smell great to you on their own but then you mix them together and they smell horrible together you know what i mean it's just trial and error you don't like it tomorrow's another day or you can take a shower and wash it up sis <laughs> okay next for blind buying scents i don't suggest blind buying anything if the fragrance is expensive so like the gentle fluidity this is a more expensive fragrance there's a couple more expensive fragrances that i want to buy what you can do if you don't want to blind buy and like you can't smell it you can get the discovery sets. So the discovery sets will have like travel size or sample sizes of the more expensive perfumes. You can test them out, see whether or not you like them and how they, you know, combine with your body chemistry. And then you can repurchase if you like it. I suggest doing that for any of the high end fragrances. Also, another tip, fragrances expire. I know that we are seeing this trend of everyone with a million fragrances in their background. I was one of those people who used to love to do that, right? But one of my fragrances called Hane More, it's a, a nice fragrance, it's a delicate, it was like one of the very first scents that I ever even started wearing. It's very vanilla, okay? It's a very vanilla scent, it's very light. I bought a big bottle of that, I had it for like three, maybe four years, maybe four years, and she went bad on me. She got rancid, I went to spray it, and I was like, this is not this isn't Henny, <laughs> okay? It wasn't good. So 
I tend to, unless I really love it or my husband buys it for me, I tend to get smaller bottles unless I, I really, really love a fragrance. Now, what I find is like, like this, I really loved it. I should get a big one. The Chanel, I love, I'll get big ones. You know what I'm saying? Some of the other ones, maybe not so much. So that's another suggestion. If you're the type of person who likes to rotate scents or if you know yourself and you know you get tired of things fast, do not buy a huge thing of this if you may not use it all. All right, ladies, that's all I have for you today. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed my little fragrance collection. <laughs> Um, going forward, I do have another video coming up, another fragrance video, but this is men's fragrances. I'm just gonna be going over some of the grown and sexy, irresistible fragrances that my husband has that you may wanna pick up for your significant other, you know? So I also have some hair tutorials, hair reviews, and hauls coming up, so you make sure you stay tuned. You do not wanna miss that. Just another quick shout out to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Just wanted to say a big thank you. If you're interested in any of the pieces, make sure that you hit that link in the description box below. If you made it this far, you are a real one and I love you for that. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you are alerted with all of my future uploads. If you found the video helpful, share it with a friend, girl. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Bye.